Greetings Melville family wherever I find you and welcome to this installment of the series we're doing, The Righteousness of God. I'm so privileged to be able to discuss this series with my beloved elder, Elder Noel. Greetings and welcome. Greetings. Thank you so much for coming through and it's always a pleasure to have you. Mm -hmm. This week we're on episode three. Mm -hmm of the series on the righteousness of Christ. The Lord has given us favor mm -hmm. to go through a full episode on the everlasting gospel, but mm -hmm. the Spirit led us to want to drill a little bit more mm -hmm. on the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. And we are discovering that the righteousness of God is a very complex subject matter. Mm -hmm. It is just not an individual of, of Christ or the devil hear me and whatever. But it's a very complex, global, eternal concept. And this week mm -hmm. we just want to explore where it began. This whole concept of the righteousness of God to save humankind through the intercessory ministry of Jesus Christ. Where did it all come from? Where did this, where, when was this plan founded? And what is God's idea for bringing it to a conclusion? Because as we stand now, in what we call the postmodern era, mm -hmm. this world is going to be here for many, many years. Mm -hmm. The plans are being made and mm -hmm. visions are being made mm. and buildings are going up left, right and center. People are planning to dwell here forever. Mm -hmm. They're looking for global peace. Mm -hmm. But there is a plan that God has, the kingdom agenda. Talk to mm -hmm. us about the origins of this because when I read the book of um, Matthew chapter 25, which is my favorite chapter, mm -hmm. obviously because of the parable of the gifts. Mm -hmm. Matthew 25, 21, that's my personal password mm -hmm. to the work that we do. But 30, verse 34 says, then the king will say to those on his right hand, mm -hmm. come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Talk to us about that concept of where was this kingdom and when was it founded? Sounds like from here it was from the foundation of the world or from well, before. The, doesn't the Bible say that when mm -hmm. it says that uh, uh, let man have dominion mm -hmm. over, you know, um, the work of God. Mm -hmm. So the way human beings are wired mm -hmm. is dominion. Okay. And it begins with sovereignty over one's own soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then sovereignty over what one owns. Mm -hmm. So Sovereignty is built in to man. It is spiritually genetic. Mm -hmm. It is in the spiritual genome to be a sovereign entity. Now, right. if you look at Satan's agenda, mm -hmm. it is the exact opposite of that. He's not giving human beings sovereignty. Mm -hmm. He's not giving them a kingdom. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to read something here for you. Yes. So that... Um, <clears throat> That's a powerful book you have yeah, right there. Yeah, a friend um, gave me... Uh, I remember during my college years when it came out. Yes. I think after the Great Controversy, that's the book I read the most. The most, this Keys one, yeah. to, to His yes. Blood by Malachi yes. Yes. Martin. And, and you know, when we read these things, mm -hmm. the desire is not to besmirge or to to judge or to condemn or to people. attack. No, and, mm -hmm. I think we're just saying, you know, this is how other people think. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's examine their thinking. Mm -hmm. To the extent that they want us to be a part of their thinking. Okay. To the extent that they incorporate us mm -hmm. as part of their vision for the future. Mm -hmm. To that extent, maybe we need to investigate what their plans are and uh, maybe decide whether we, we agree with the vision 
Or maybe we don't. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. um, God wants us to be wise as serpents, mm -hmm. but harmless. Yes. So we're not going to be harming anybody by investigating mm -hmm. what their plans are for us. All right. Okay. All right. And we are not lying because we are reading their books. Yeah, from one of their kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so we're just quoting mm -hmm. this priest. Mm -hmm. uh, and then what we're going to do is we are not going to say he is the be all and end all on this subject matter. Mm -hmm. We are going to look at the word of God and see if what he says yeah. has any parallel there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look out our window and see if what he's saying is what is being done. Mm -hmm. If there's any relationship. And then the Bible says we must be wise unto salvation. Why? Because we have yeah. souls to save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, he says here, and remember what I said to you, I said sovereignty. Mm -hmm. The sovereignty of the individual. Yeah. Okay. Is fundamental. To determine be, their destiny. Be, because you have to determine your destiny. The Bible says, let each man be fully persuaded in, in his, his own, own mind. mind. Yeah. For we must all, give an A -L -L, account. Yes. each one of us, yeah. give an account to God yeah. for the choices we make. Mm -hmm. So if you're not going to give an account on my behalf, then maybe I need to make a decision concerning me. Yes. Yes. You cannot impose your vision mm -hmm. on me yeah. when you're not going to be the one responsible to give an account. Absolutely. You're not going to stand in the dock for me. I wish you could say that very loud for all our politicians. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I know. Oh, oh, the Bible talks about that. It says the danger is yeah. when people are deceived, they tend to go out and deceive others. Others, yes. Okay. Deceiving and, and being, being deceived. deceived. Yes. 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 But... But let us look at the word of God and understand that God is trying to save all of us from a deception. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His kingdom is the real thing. Mm -hmm. But there's another thing on the side, mm -hmm. which this book calls a grand design. Grand design. I remember that text, yes. Yeah. So, so the Grand design and the key players. Yes. In, in the grand in, in, design. In, in, yeah. Right. So there is a grand design. What is it? Mm. Let's compare that with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, kingdom the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yes. And see which we would like to be a part of. But we can't be forced into either mm -hmm. because we are given sovereignty by birth. Yeah. Let them have dominion. Mm. Now, you need to understand that even children. Mm hmm when they're born, the mm -hmm. first thing they assert is their sovereignty. Mm. When they don't want to drink milk, they don't want to drink milk. Yeah. When they don't want to sleep, they don't want to sleep. Mm -hmm. Don't keep you away. <laughs> That's just saying, look, uh, yeah. I'm here, guys, but I'm sovereign. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So don't get carried away with the fact that I'm a baby. I'm still, I still call the shots when it comes to me, and I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. Yeah. Close okay. my mouth. And Close my mouth and that's it. Yeah. You know. So, sovereignty is genetic mm. to the spirit of man. And um, the Bible protects that sovereignty. Mm. That's why when Jesus comes, mm -hmm. what does he do? He restores it. He restores the sovereignty. Yeah. He asks us a question. What yeah. do you think? Mm. What think ye? Hmm. The son of man did not come to take men's lives. He came to save men's lives. If they don't yeah. want me in their city, mm. I'll go. Yeah. No force. Yeah, no force. I'll dust yeah, my feet. You, in fact, he even tells his disciples, when you get into a city, city and they reject you, you, dust your feet and, and move on. Yeah. Don't beat them up because they don't like you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That's not of the kingdom no, of God. No, if you find a place in the Bible... Mm -hmm where God is mobilizing people to war, is because those people are warring against him physically. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they don't understand any other language. Mm -hmm. And by the mm -hmm. way, there's no redemption being discussed here. It's just war. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But 
God hates violence. He says mm -hmm. that over and over again. Yeah. So, so when we come to the New Testament, he says, oh, if they don't like you, dust mm -hmm. your feet and, and move on and to leave. the next. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, if they hit you on this cheek, give them the other. Give them the other one. Mm -hmm. If they ask for your jacket, give, give them, them also the trousers. Yeah. What he's basically saying is no violence from you. Mm. Harmless. As a dove. Yeah. Why is a serpent? But harmless. Yes, as dove. That's the that's the uh, philosophy of, of the, the righteousness of God. Of the righteousness of God. Harmless, selfless. But wise. Mm. Mm. Okay. So 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 they don't want him. He says, okay, dust your feet, go to the next one. They don't want you to dust your feet. You will not going. complete all of the cities before I come. Go come, exactly. Yeah. So keep so, moving. So it means until the end of time, the religion of Jesus Christ and the church of Jesus Christ is a nonviolent movement. Mm-hmm. That's a powerful statement to make. Yeah. Because some of the greatest wars that have been fought mm -hmm. and lives that have been lost have mm -hmm. been lost at the name of religion and God. Well, the point is that is God angry? No. Mm. It's the dragon who is angry. <laughs> God yeah. is, yeah. Revelation chapter 12. Yeah. He was kicked out of heaven, so he's angry. He came yeah, furious. But, but God is not angry. What is God? Glory to God in the highest, peace and goodwill, goodwill. To all towards men. men. Mm -hmm. So he's not angry. If somebody's angry and is beating you up, it's not God. <laughs> they may do it in God's name, but they're lying. Yeah. yeah. They're lying. God, God doesn't work that way. Mm. He, he reasons. Mm. Come, let us reason. Yeah. So together. talk to us about... So, what, so uh, let me read to you here. Malachi, Martin. Yeah, so we're write. talking about the kingdom mm -hmm. and this method which respects the sovereignty of the individual. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand that in this scheme of things, the sovereignty of the individual is protected by law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We now call it human rights. Not really human rights, because human rights is a counterfeit to the law of God. Because human right promises you the very things it's taking away from you. Or from the it's, other person. It's promising you with the mouth, mm -hmm. but it's taking... What the mouth is saying and what the hands are doing are two different things. But it also could be that they promise human rights, which in actual fact is, is guaranteeing one person that right but denying the other that privilege and the right. The, the fact of the matter is that it is an impractical formula for human management. And so, I will so human rights, you later. Human, I know this is, a, this is a side dish we're pulling in yes, now. Yes, yeah. I'm really interested in looking at the origins of the kingdom of God. Which is where I'm going. Yeah, so, so, but so, I like so. the idea of the philosophy and the thinking yes. around it. Which is, which is built on the sovereignty of the individual. The right that, to that, govern yourself. That's why the and apostle... And to be and to determine. That's why, that's why mm -hmm. the apostle Paul says, you have been set free by Christ. Don't become servants or slaves. Mm -hmm. of men. Okay. And uh, it is James who says, we shall be judged by the perfect law, law of, of liberty. liberty. So, so we're liberty talking about is, liberty. Yes. Here. Liberty and sovereignty are fundamental to the government of God, complete with inheritance and ownership of property. Mm. Yeah. So those things need to be clearly understood that God is offering us all those things. Sovereignty, yeah. liberty, property. Mm -hmm. Okay. All and those. dominion. This is the kingdom prepared from the foundation of the world. Right. It was prepared that way. Mm. That's why in the new earth, you own a house in the city. You own a farm in the country. You will not mm. plant and another person eat. All right. You won't build and another person will inhabit. Mm -hmm. My beloved, God says, shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Yes, they shall but, plant vineyards. But in our father's house. When we visit God in the city, mm -hmm. well, you have got your mansion there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You visited with Daddy this weekend, but you've you know, got prin yours. Princes live in mansions, so you <laughs> got your, you know. Yeah. But 
that is the arrangement of this kingdom prepared from the foundation. We were, pre, pre, we were designed prepared. to be kings and priests. Mm. By the word priests is meant representative of God. Mm -hmm. The repositories of the divine secrets. Mm -hmm. The people that know the things of God yeah. revealed to them by the Spirit. There is mm -hmm. an intimacy between God and Christ which we are going to share in. Yes. Okay. So that's what is prepared from the foundation of the world. Mm. Now, now, when we look at the kingdom of the enemy, mm -hmm. sovereignty and liberty, let's read what it is. Yeah. It says, the very first thing, this mm -hmm. is Malachi Martin, this is page, the very first page the preface. in the grand design, the preface mm -hmm. yeah. in the book, the grand design. Mm -hmm. By intimation, the papacy, the pope, is the servant of this grand design. Now listen to the design. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is not me saying it. Yeah. This is Malachi Martin. Mm -hmm. Says, and, and like everything else I said, we have to have, look at it and say, is, it, is he writing the truth or not? According Each to one of us Bible. has to be fully persuaded in yeah. our own minds yeah. concerning yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not telling people what to believe. I'm just reading what is there. Mm. It says, willing or not, from hmm. the very from the very first phrase. Wow. You realize that Take it or leave it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No. Your sovereignty is cancelled. Willing or not. Willing or not. It's not your choice. You, there's no choice in this thing. So willing or not, what? Ready or not. Wow. We are all involved. That's... So no one is excluded. This is global. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? In an all-out, that means don't think they're playing. No, nothing is left behind. No, they're not playing here. Yeah. No holds barred. The gloves are off. The this rules, is a fight. The rules are on the side. That's why when the Bible shows us the process by which this thing comes into being in Revelation 6, it shows us as horse men and mm. horse riders. Yeah. It's a war. They're galloping. Yes. Now, Three-way global competition. Most of us are not competitors. However, mm -hmm. listen to the phrases, the words mm -hmm. used. Mm -hmm. This is a highly educated man, doesn't waste words. Mm -hmm. He says, we are the stakes. We are the stakes. So you are not excluded. Mm -hmm. And your opinion is immaterial. And you are included in this thing. And they want you. Okay. You're the stakes. All right. They want you. All right. So, okay. They want us for what? Yeah, then I need to, I need to be informed now. What are your thoughts concerning me, you, mm -hmm. everybody? Whether I'm ready or not, willing yeah. or not. For the competition is about who will establish the first one world system of government. All right. All right. That's what it's about. Yes. Okay. Is, yeah. That has ever existed mm. in the society of nations. It is about who will hold and wield mm. the dual power of authority. Mm -hmm. Remember the little horn in Daniel 7? Yeah. Mouth. With the mouth, yeah. That authority, blasphemy, yeah. Authority and control. All right. So you 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 don't do your thing here. Mm -hmm. All systems are about control. All right. Control over each one of us. Hmm. This is detailed. It's not like they're saying, "Ah, oh, we don't mind if you control." That's why the Bible says. God will give them control over a quarter in the of fourth horse. Mankind, yeah. This is what's aimed at. God will allow it to exist to a quarter. Hmm. Quarter will, it will be, this will succeed a quarter. Right. But what is seen in that quarter mm -hmm. will make heaven decide We've got to terminate this or else we won't find any human being alive. Mm. The judgment will sit and they will take away the power and the authority. Daniel chapter 7. Mm. 
Yes. But listen to what it says. It says, control over each one of us as individuals mm -hmm. and over all of us together as a community, over the entire mm -hmm. six billion people. We're now seven point something. Ex yeah, expected by demographers mm -hmm. to inhabit the earth by early in the third millennium. This is the this is the early third, third millennium. millennium. Yes, this is early in the third millennium. Mm. It's now. Mm. So, complete control of every individual mm -hmm. is the goal. Mm -hmm. Early in the third millennium, which is. Yep. Now. Right now. Because we've done the first millennium 1,000 years. Mm -hmm. We have done the 2,000 years, mm -hmm. year 2000. Mm -hmm. So we are 21 years into the third. Yes. And then it says, yeah, the competition is all out because now that it has started, there is no way it can be reversed or called off. Mm -hmm. So it's all systems go. Mm -hmm. It's one way. Mm -hmm. Right? So the idea, that's why you hear guys say, will things ever return to what to they normal? were? And every one of these people in position are saying, we are not going back, back. there. This is the new normal and get used to different or new normal. You understand. Now, we, we, this is them. It's not you, me, that this is what this priest wrote concerning mm. his church. Mm. and its plans, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says, mm -hmm. no, holds bar, no holds are barred because once the competition has been decided, mm -hmm. this is awesome stuff. Mm. The world and all that's in it. Mm -hmm. Now you have to remember that the Bible says, of the, what does it say? The world and its fullness and the people that the live earth with is the Lord's and, and the fullness, fullness thereof. thereof. Yeah. Is whose? It's the Lord's. And the people that live there are the Lord's. So, there is a desire here or a plan mm -hmm. to take, to have authority and control mm -hmm. over the world and all that's in it. Mm. Whose right is it to have authority and control over the whole world and all that's in it? God's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it says here, our way of life as individuals mm -hmm. and as citizens of the nations, our families and our jobs, our trade and commerce mm -hmm. and money our educational systems and our religions mm -hmm. and our cultures, even the badges of our national identity, mm -hmm. which most of us have always taken for granted, all will have been powerfully mm. and radically altered forever. All right. No one can be exempted from its effect. No section of our lives mm -hmm. will remain untouched. Mm. So nobody can say to you, this is none of your business. This, is, this sounds very serious. It is your business. Yeah. Because it's not excluding you. Yeah. Then it says, Nobody who is acquainted with the plans of these three rivals, he's talking about communism, capitalism, and Catholicism. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Has any doubt but that only one of them can win? One. Yep. Each expects the other two to be overwhelmed and swallowed up in the coming maelstrom of change. It looks like one has been swallowed already. Both? Communism. Both. And the other one is, being, is in the process of being swallowed. The, well, capitalism. Do we have do we have capitalism really anymore? Well, it's still there. It still runs and rules the world. Well, well, let. But it's changed. But is it really capitalism when the vast majority of the citizens of those countries are no longer business owners? Hmm. 
They're not going to own the money, but welfare, plas plastic cards. They are being re-given money by the state. That's, a so <laughs> that's socialism. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Now, the same even in our country. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not saying I understand it fully, but man, when everybody is receiving money from the state. It's a welfare state. It's a welfare state. Yeah. The same mm. even in South Africa. I mean, we, we, we knew that if nothing happens to that social development, social grants, mm -hmm. we will soon become a welfare state because it will become the largest department in terms of receivable revenue well the payouts well there you go so 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 the welfare state in my view is the demise of capitalism and uh, what you see in the east mm -hmm. was the demise of communism mm -hmm. because they have gone back to something that is you know you got big money and big business, mm -hmm. you know. Big farmer. Yeah, so it's a mm -hmm. species, it's a species of fascism where you have uh, big business and government in partnership. Mm. The public-private partnerships. partnerships that, it's really a shift of power from the people. But the intention is clear, you were saying. Center. Mm -hmm. And yet Christ promises us a kingdom that's already been there. So if I can maybe add to Malachi mm -hmm. Martin's words, if there is a three-part government race, mm -hmm. I think Malachi forgot to write about the fourth one. Well, I don't think... <laughs> Which is as, the one I want us to talk well, about. Well, I don't... Yeah, I know. But I don't think the priest would write about the kingdom of the Son of God from a scriptural basis. Because as a Catholic, the, the system of Catholicism mm -hmm. is the kingdom of God. Okay. And the Pope is the, the Christ representative on earth. Okay, okay, so, I get you, I get you. So, so that's the, the philosophy. Is the, the, that's the philosophy. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't feature that kingdom because no. they are already part of well, that kingdom. The, his belief is that Catholicism is the kingdom of God. Okay. So but sitting God where is we are, through it. Sitting well, here, yeah. talking about the geo, the global kingdom spaces. Yeah, we're not just talking. Daniel chapter 2, Daniel chapter 7. Yeah, but what, we're not just talking geo geocentrically mm -hmm. we are talking about the key, the throne of god as the center of power of all power so there's that dimension that we have another seat of power in the heavens where christ has entered daniel 7 mm -hmm. where the judgment sits yeah. and decides what happens here mm -hmm. but from their perspective the seat of power is right down here and so, so what they're basically doing is they're yeah. building the kingdom of God mm -hmm. by putting authority and control back into the hands of the papacy the way it was in the Dark Ages. So in, in summary, Elder, we don't have to go into the details of what Malachi said because my interest, and I'm sure the interest of the viewers there, mm -hmm. is then to begin to discuss, so what is this unsearchable kingdom of Jesus that he has promised us. Because he, he says, as we read in the beginning, verse 34, Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Mm -hmm. So God has, has been in the process of preparing this kingdom. And I think, and I think, and I think that's yeah, what I want yeah. us to focus yeah, yes, on. Yes. Well, it was important But for maybe us. let me finish and say this to our yeah. viewers out there, because... I would encourage you to go read out. This is a very big volume. But there's another one also called The Great Controversy. Need to read which, both. Which kind of walks in the same terrain. Need to read both. These are, these are, yes. And, and, and what we are saying here is we are not demonizing anybody. We're just saying look at the evidence. Hear what they're saying. Yeah. And yeah. see for yourself mm -hmm. which represents the mind of God in mm -hmm. these two worldviews. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the unsearchable riches of Christ. Uh, yeah, yeah. Remember we said, uh, this is what human beings think. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. is required to give human beings utopia. You've got to control them fully. No, but You've I think, but I think elder, of them. it's and not then, human and then, beings. And, 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 it's not yeah, human beings. Yes. Let yes, me, it's, it's, it's no, another spirit. Let me it's anchor Satan. it on the yeah, Bible yeah. because we know these things have been revealed to us mm-hmm. as Bible students. Mm-hmm. Revelation chapter 13 mm-hmm. is very clear. Oh, yes. That oh, the yes. first beast, yes. huh? the first yes. beast, and we know mm-hmm. that's the Roman system mm-hmm. out of which the Catholic Church came through, mm-hmm. was given a great seat, mm-hmm. great authority, mm-hmm. and power. Mm-hmm. So by we do dragon, know, yeah, and the dragon by the Satan. dragon. Mm-hmm. And the second beast of Revelation 13 comes up with lambs like... Horns like a lamb. Horns mm-hmm. like a lamb, mm-hmm. but it speaks like a dragon. Yes, yes. So we okay. can see the spirit in all these two kingdoms. Yes. And so I would like to say... Well, it speaks like a dragon because the first beast gives unto the second beast its power. The power, so, which so, also came from the yeah, dragon. So there's a transfer of power from the dragon yeah. to the first beast, mm-hmm. from the first beast mm-hmm. to the second beast. Mm-hmm. And this, then yeah. the, the voice of the dragon is heard through the second beast. I'm happy. Right. So so, yeah. so, you are, so we are but, but, but I'm clear on that. But what I'm saying is that from a human perspective, mm-hmm. we are just looking at people doing things. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we cannot make the connection with the spirit realm. The physical and the spiritual. The spirit realm, yes. And so... But on this program... And so, and so we have no aspersions. What I'm trying to get to yeah. is that we are not casting asper- aspersions at people for believing certain things because they could be deceived into those things. What we are trying to show is the deception. So each person can say, okay, this is the deception. Then I don't want to be a part of it. We don't want to name call. We don't want to... Because people are the object of God's heart. He wants them saved. Mm -hmm. But what God doesn't want us to do is to countenance deception and not expose it. I think he wants us to do that. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the unsearchable riches of Christ, which is what you've been trying to say. I have been battling to get to that because that's the real meat. Yeah, yeah. the unsearchable riches of Christ, Ephesians 3 verse 11 says, Mm -hmm. is the eternal purpose which God purposed in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Okay. And... uh, (laughs) In Ephesians 3 verse 9, Paul says, there is a fellowship in this mystery. Mm-hmm. This is a mystery, mm-hmm. but it comes together. Yeah, you know, all things come together. Yes, they co- yeah, they work together. Yeah. You know, it, it is mm-hmm. God who worketh mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. in all. So yeah. you have bits and pieces of truth. You can't see the full picture. Mm-hmm. And then God says, okay, okay, yeah. let, let me show you how this thing comes together exactly. in Christ. Yeah. And so they are unsearchable riches. That means you're yes. inexhaustible. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes, we are encouraged to come yeah. and know these things. Yeah. But man, they are deeper. You know, we need eternity. Way deeper. Yeah. You can't exhaust them. Absolutely. All right. So, so yeah. the unsearchable riches of Christ are what defines the kingdom. Mm. See, this kingdom is unsearchably rich. Yeah. It's yeah. rich, rich, rich mm. in any. Philosophically rich, yeah. man. Yeah. Anyways, mm. you look rich. It's just you can't exhaust what's available to you. Yeah. If you want to go physics, it's unsearchable. You keep going. If you yeah. want to go chemistry, you keep going. If you want to go music, you keep yeah. going. Geology. If you want to go food, just start. biology. Biology. Yeah. It's un. Metallurgy. It's, you name it. It's inexhaustible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's and the, all those things mm-hmm. are. In Christ. That's why when mm. he came down here, you could bring any disease. You could bring you any condition. Sort it out. Yeah. Bring any demon. Yeah. Because he is inexhaustible in his knowledge mm. of those things. Did you know, I've, I was fascinated mm-hmm. by a statement that Ellen White made. Yeah. She said, when the foundations... Yeah. were laid mm-hmm. for the salvation of man. Mm-hmm. They were laid so deep All right. they could not be defeated. You can't uproot it. Yes. That, that's why when the Bible talks about our salvation, yeah. it, 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 it talks about it as, what are you going to do? What can separate us from the love of God? Mm. Is it height? Depth? Is it depth? Breath? Is it width? Length? You Is know, it death? Yeah, death. What? Poverty? Principalities what? or powers? It doesn't change God. It might change us. 
And this is where maybe we have a little difficulty in life. Mm -hmm. We are broke, it changes us. <laughs> we are sick, it changes us. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Easily changed. <laughs> yeah, we, things change us. You know, you know Elder, I always, but, but, I always challenge my family, and I guess this is just a challenge I'm going to give to you and, and our viewers out there. If, if we knew there's no date of death that we don't know is going to come, Hmm. what would change in our lives? Because yeah. the kingdom of God, 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians 15, 26 says, the last enemy mm -hmm. to be destroyed is death. Mm -hmm. So God knows that death is the one that limits us and puts us under too much pressure mm -hmm. to want to accumulate. Well, for fear of it. Exactly. So yeah. if death mm -hmm. was taken care of, how would our lives change? Well, come to heaven and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Come and, and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come up here. Yes. Come up here. Yeah. So, so the eternal purpose of God. Yeah. Um, the mystery. Yeah. The riches of Christ mm -hmm. is the kingdom of God to which we have been invited. Only in eternity mm -hmm. are we going to fully understand God's love for yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Because he will have the time mm, to demonstrate it, it even more. Mm. Today mm. he saves us from this and saves us from that. Yeah. But he's not really concerned about this world and now. Mm. He wants to save us into that kingdom where yeah. he will have opportunity. So the unsearchable riches of Christ is exactly what I said to you they were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the sum of the life of God available to us. Wow. I like it when Ephesians yeah. 3, 11 then says... According to the eternal purpose. Yes, which he purposed in, which yeah. he purposed in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. So there was a strategic planning meeting here. You know here. how Ellen White puts it? Yeah. And uh, it said that over time, mm. there's been an attenuation, a de-emphasis yeah. of the ministry of Ellen White in the spirit of prophecy. It's part of the grand plan. Well, and the enemy has robbed us and all I can say to people is, if you can lay hold of any book of Ellen G. White. In hard copy. In hard copy. Hang on to it for dear life. Yeah. Especially books like... Um, the Great Controversy. Great Controversy. Mm -hmm. You know... Uh, conflict series as yes, well. Yes, the Conflict series. Yes. Uh, History Last of Day Redemption. Events, Last Day Events. History yes. of Redemption. But the most precious one is Spiritual Gifts. Yes. The first book that she wrote, yes. the good, where the great controversy is derived, is extracted from. from yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. but but she says something that I like. You know what mm. she says? Mm -hmm. She says, uh, talking about this unsearchable riches, riches of, of Christ. Christ yes, and, mm -hmm. and uh, she says, the life which measures with the life of God. The life which measures up with the life, with of, the God. life of God. Oh, come on, you don't know what that is. Listen. You mean that mm -hmm. is what God has for our uh, viewers and us? That's, that's exactly. That, that's, that's, that's. And God is, Elder, this, life, I cannot even wrap the thought around me because I'm so limited by many things. Well, the life which measures, you think about it. The life which measures with the life of God not just in longevity, but in scope, in dimensions. Now you and, and God... And sovereignty. And sovereignty. And you and God can sit and have an intelligent conversation. No, we, I, I, can't, I can't imagine yeah, it. Perf and, there's I, no, I'm, I'm thinking, and there's no fear in love because... There's no fear because perfect love has cast out fear. I mean, I'm just so, thinking if, Ob if Barack Obama was to invite me for a dinner with him, mm -hmm. man... That would yeah, we, blow we your head. Love, we all love Barack, did you? Yes, yeah, we do. Yeah. And it will blow your head just to sit at his presence and hear him teach or share. Yes. But, but you're talking about God here. Uh -huh. Saying God's ideal uh -huh. is to come up here and measure up to the holiness of God. Well, what does the Apostle Paul say? He says, mm. the high calling of God in Christ is. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. It's a high calling. Mm. This mm. life which measures yeah. with the life of God. Yeah. So and talk to us about that. That now, now that we're talking about the the full expression of the purpose and will of God in Christ, tell us about this name of Jesus. 
what 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 does it have for us? Because that's one of well, the biggest controversies we, we've seen. And exactly. So so we begin by saying he is the wisdom of God and mm -hmm. the power of God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what when we worship, the Bible says when Jesus rose from the dead, mm -hmm. the early believers, what did they do? They worshipped him. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. It says that more than once. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they had now come to understand that which was from the beginning, which we have mm. handled, mm. which we have heard, which we have seen, mm. the word of life. Yeah. And the word was made flesh dwelt among us. But what was that word? The word was with God. God. The word was. Was. God. In the beginning, the, the word was. With God. And the word was God. God. Yes. So now they have come to understand that no, 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 this is God in verity. Yeah. But in flesh. Mm. And they worship him. Mm. You remember when he was on the boat yeah. that night? Mm -hmm. He was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And the wind arose. Yes. You know, and I always like to think, hmm, winds, demons. You know, yeah. the winds arose, could have been Satan, mm -hmm. or it could have been God himself who allowed it. Mm -hmm. But I'm always fascinated by the thought that the winds and the water, mm -hmm. the spirit realm, the winds, yes, the, water, the water, humanity, and the wind is disturbing mm -hmm. the Stirring water. Up the so waters. whenever there is destabilization in human society, be assured, the demons are active there. Mm -hmm. And what is the answer? The mm -hmm. Church of Christ is in a world like that, mm -hmm. where human the, the demons are working human beings, yeah. and we, we have to live in that. But here's the, where I was going with this. Mm -hmm. The wind churns up the water, and the water is about to drown the boat. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Literally, is sleeping. That wasn't fiction. Yeah. You, know, you know how many times you and I come into real life threatening situations? They're not fiction. It's real. And the intention is very clear. To yes. sink you. Yeah. So, so the Lord works. The, the, the disciples, you know, first of all, they try to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. When we have a crisis, we yeah. have meetings. Yeah. We consult. We go we and start. Oh, yeah. Who can I call? Yes. What can I do? Who can help you me? You know, so we begin with ourselves as yeah. a way of solution. Yeah. Until we discover maybe we're not enough. No, we get frustrated into agreeing that there's no one who can help us. Sometimes yes. we yes. just get knocked down. We are overwhelmed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we run out of resources and uh, to deal with the situation. So we seek God. And do you not care, God, <laughs> that we? A perishing Don't you see here. what I'm going Don't you through? see what's going My on? My tears. Do you not care? Mm. You know? Mm. And uh, that story has been played over and over again. Yeah. And right now we're headed there in the world mm -hmm. where things are going to get so bad that we are going to ask, do you not care? Mm. You know? Mm. And so the Lord woke up. Yeah. And the Bible says he rebuked the wind. Hmm. That was causing the storm. Yeah. And the water settled. And then here's the thing. It says there was a great calm. Yeah. I mean, you great could calm. fear. Yeah. Yeah. Silence. Mm. Not even a wave. Mm -hmm. Not even a lap of the water. Mm. Mm. And uh, the Bible says they... They asked the question. They, no, they, they said... What manner of man is this? Exactly. That's the question I'm talking about. Yeah. And then, and then the, 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 the Bible says, they say truly, mm -hmm. thou art the son of God. The Bible says they worshipped him. Yes. Yes. So, the name of Jesus mm -hmm. is the name of God. But the issue is, there is a dispute concerning that. Is he God? Mm. Mm. And is he really above 
all yeah. powers and principalities. Yes, so God is answering that. So that at the name of Jesus, when God is finished, mm -hmm. every knee will bow and confess that he is God mm. to the glory of God. Mm. But think about it. Yeah. Mm. The wisdom of God yeah. and the power, and the power, of, power God of God is what we worship. Mm. Mm. It's an intelligent worship. Yeah. We're not just worshiping nonsense. Yeah. 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 We are worshiping wisdom. Mm. And we are worshiping mm. power that mm. can do stuff we can do. Yeah. Wisdom that can think things we can't think about. Yeah. So we worship wisdom and power. And we worship Christ because he mm. is the wisdom and the power of God. Yes. He is the one that created everything. Mm. See. So, so talk to us about... So we worship the creator. Yeah. That's why you can't reject the Sabbath and say you're a believer in Jesus Christ. You don't believe in his power. You don't believe in his wisdom because if you did, you would respect the day which he uses. And the one he calls the as Lord as, of. He is Lord of this. He uses that as a symbol of his divinity. Hmm. I made all things. Rest everybody in me. Yeah. You don't have to work. Hmm. I work. That's what Jesus said to the Pharisees. He says, my father worketh either too. Hmm. And I work. We are the ones that keep you guys going. Mm. I'm the way. I'm the truth. truth. I'm the life. So the true rest that we were given in the Sabbath was not just a day. It was, no. it was resting in mm. God. There you go. In, in the God. wisdom and the power, power of, God. of God. He's smart enough to take care of us. Yeah. He is powerful enough to take care of us. Even Shoo. though the winds rise and, the, and then the waves below. What does that song say? He says... Yeah. Uh, they all shall sweetly obey. My Master, will. the tempest is raging, the yeah, billows, the winds and, and the waves. The winds and the waves shall obey my will. Peace. Be still. So, in Him, yeah. in that wisdom, mm. in that power, mm. and that's why when we face the dragon, yeah, right, and the beast coming out of the sea, when we face this system. Yeah, that's our ultimate test, by the way. Yeah, our ultimate when test we face is to this. fight this. Because the, when the Bible talks about the beast, mm -hmm. it says he has names of blasphemy all over it. Yeah, this thing is just blasphemy. Yeah, the whole conversation, the whole talk, mm -hmm. you just summarize what you're hearing. That's it. It's blasphemy. blasphemy. Yeah, and that's why even on the God. forehead of that woman of Revelation 17, blasphemy, blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. So. So on the one hand, you have the wisdom of God and the power of God, the Son of God. Mm. On the other hand, you have blasphemy mm. to take his place. But don't forget, that's what yeah. they were trying to do in heaven. So talk well. to us about this concept of his blood, his life, because mm -hmm. the blood is the life mm -hmm. being our surety. And I think... We need to get this concept clear. Well, the Bible says he ever liveth for to make intercession for us. So the thing is that he ever liveth. That's the thing to remember. Always available. Always there. I am with you even unto the end. He is a surety. He is our guarantee. You mean even when things are so bad, your career is on the ropes, your house has been repossessed, your car is lost, mm -hmm. your health is ailing, your friends and family have left you. He is too there. He's your surety. In Psalm 119, verse 122, mm -hmm. David says, Be surety for thy servant for good. You're going to drop the ball. Mm. You need surety. Mm. You're going to fail. You're going to do stuff that, in hindsight, you're going to say, Oh, that was stupid. Yeah. Why did I even do that? Yeah. You know, you know I want to... I know that you maybe have you've you've done have problems with stuff like that. God is <laughs> I do have mine. <laughs> yeah, but you have yours, yes. But there are people out there, Christians, mm -hmm. or maybe even of our faith, seven day Adventists, waiting for the coming of Jesus, mm -hmm. believing that the law of God is a symbol of his authority and control of the planet. Mm -hmm. um, that's his way. Mm -hmm. Now, we believe that, but in, in both 
those of us who have come to that understanding mm -hmm. and those who have not yet come to that, that understanding, mm -hmm. but who love God and who love truth. Mm -hmm. We're and who are, who are hungering and thirsting for righteousness. Yep. You'll always find these people in all kinds of positions. In parliaments, you will find mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. In senates, you will find them. In congresses, you will find them. Yeah. In all places of power and positions. In business, you will find them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in public service, yeah. you will find them. Um, in the street. Mm -hmm. Selling tomatoes and vegetables. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, you will find them. People who love truth, mm. Mm. who love right, mm -hmm. they are there. Yeah, okay. and, and God calls them my people. They are scattered all over, I must they bring them. They don't have all the doctrine aligned. They don't have the fellowship of the mystery yes, perfected. Of the power. Yeah, they don't have this the full understanding, yes. But they love God and they love truth. Mm. And, but they drop the ball at some point. Mm -hmm. Christians who have fallen along the way have to understand that they have a surety mm -hmm. in God. All right. He wants them to get up. That's mm -hmm. what he says in mm -hmm. Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. You can't yeah. fall perpetually. You've got to get up. Yeah. How is it God says you fall and you don't get up? Mm. But I want us to go back to uh, the previous scripture. Yeah. yeah. Because we have God as a surety because we fail. Mm -hmm. That's why David says, Be surety for thy servant for good. Yeah. Let not the proud oppress me. Mm. Because see, when you fall, the proud gloat. Yeah. Yeah. He thought he was all that. She thought she was Up all there. that. And you have people, God's children who love him, but they've mm -hmm. fallen somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they must understand that that is no reason to be perpetually lost. Mm. Okay. There is have, one who stands up for us. He is your guarantee. And Get up is and trust in him. He mm. never drops the ball. He's mm. playing for you. He's already played for you. Mm. So you have a certificate of completion, but you have to endure to the end. You have to press on towards the mark. Mm. You have to get up and keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't let the enemy... Your faith must not fail, mm -hmm. even though you have denied the Lord. Yes. Okay? <laughs> you have get to... Up. Go and Fall weep. seven weep. times, but yes. get up. Weep, yes, because you've disappointed your friend. Mm. But get up. He doesn't yeah. want you dead. He wants you alive. I came that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes. And so he wants, he says, go and tell Peter. I know he's going through a terrible time with this. Oh. Just tell him. Yes, I your love Your friend him. says, get up. We, we are still. I have prayed for you. We are you. still chummies. We are still friends. Yes. We still, yeah, we still cool. When you so, repent, strengthen your brothers. Yeah, and I want you to, and I want you to strengthen the others. Yeah. He loves us. Yeah. So, the Bible says in, Jer in Hebrews 7, 22, mm -hmm. by so much was Jesus made a yes. surety yes. of a better testament. Mm. Mm. You see, he's a surety yeah. of a better, his testament before God is better than yours. That's true. His testimony. So, That's so, true. So maybe you don't talk. Yeah. I, I have a, a, a friend of a son of mine. He's a lawyer. He sent me this little thing on his status which says, mm -hmm. when we are stopped by the police, yeah. you shut up. Let me speak. <laughs> <laughs> I know the law. <laughs> I know what... I, I know stuff. You shut up. Let yeah. me speak. Let me handle and this. I, and, yeah, and, and I think that's what Jesus is saying to the whole world. Yes. I know my father. Yes. You shut up. Let me speak. To my father. <laughs> Let On me your speak. behalf. Heck, exactly. So in Hebrews 9 verse 24 it says, Yeah. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, mm -hmm. which are the figures of the true, mm -hmm. but into heaven itself, yes. now to appear, appear in, in the presence, presence of, of God, God for us. We have one like us up there. Yeah. And one it's for like us. us. And if God be for us, you can who forget can that case. You can us. forget. It is God who justifies. Who yes. condemns? It is Christ. Yes. So, so. Oh, and the is beauty good. is he yeah. went by his blood. As his argument. Testament. His life. 
You see, his life, the yeah. devil can find fault with you and my life, mm. but he can't find fault with Christ. With that one, no. No, he can't. He took yeah. it to the grave, yeah. killed and, it, and bashed him. Yeah. But Jesus received his life back. Without sin. It says yes. without sin. See, what kills Satan? Yeah. There was nothing in Christ. <sighs> Even after beating him, after spitting on him, mm. after lashing him with a cat or nine, and he was nothing but raw beef, Hanging yeah. him on a cross, mm. naked. Mm. You know, he revealed his hatred for the Son of God. Yeah. But you know, after all of yeah. that, not a word of cursing, mm. not a word of condemnation. Yes. Spotless lamb. Like a lamp, he was sent and led to this. That's Lord. why I like us to go to the previous uh, thing. Yes. I, we yeah. Wonder, yeah. So his spotless life, neither by the blood of goats and cows, mm -mm. but by his own blood, his own mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. he entered once into the holy place. Yeah. Having, he entered how many times? Once. once. Having obtained what? Eternal, Eternal redemption, redemption for, us. for us. So this is not being done twice. No. We were redeemed. We ob Eternal redemption is now available to us. Mm. It was done once for all. Yeah. And uh, he says, wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood. So we're not mm. sanctified by our lives. Your life record yeah. is not helping you in the judgment. No, no. Okay. It doesn't make you clean. Mm -mm. It's your relationship with him. It is the righteousness of another that sanctifies you. Mm. By his own blood, mm. you know. Mm. He suffered for mm. us. Now, in Revelation 1, verse 5, yeah. it says, And from Jesus, who is the faithful, faithful witness. witness. Oh, I love that. Don't you like that? Don't start me on that. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> because when, when we were accused, when we were cheated, when we were betrayed, when things didn't go our way, mm -hmm. he says, I know exactly what happened and I'll repay. I will sort it out. Did you know that God knows? He was the witness. Yes. And from Jesus. And then the... Unto him that loved us and yeah. washed us from our sins in his mm, own blood. blood. Hebrews 10 verse 10. Yeah. By which will we are all sanctified through, through the offering, offering of, the body. of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Mm. So, mm. we are washed in his blood. Yeah. Sanctified in his, his life for our life. Mm. That's why we used to sing that song. Not I but Christ. Be honored, loved, yes. exalted. Yes. Not I but Christ. Mm. That's why I said to one brother... I have a problem with the exaltation of men among us. That's true. That's yeah. true. Please, let's it not is preach not human of beings the order of and God. their degrees and their titles. No. Once you go that way, I prefer to be excused mm. because I don't think there's anything to say about us that no. is worth saying anything because no. we are sanctified by the life of another. In fact, if I can use and borrow the words of Pastor Henry Wright, one of my favorite preachers, mm -hmm. He says the best amongst us couldn't cut it. There you go. So we need yeah. to take heed to ourselves, therefore, X 2028, mm -hmm. and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost had made you overseers. Mm. So we're just overseers. Yeah. All these pastors and whoever else. Mm -hmm. To feed the church of God, mm. which he had purchased with his own blood. So what is the responsibility yeah. of the pastor? To feed the church. Yeah. Not yeah. to own it. Mm. I remember what one brother said. And not to control it either. Yeah. One brother said in a meeting, if a member, member a family member of mine, mm -hmm. he said to, to one leader, he said, Pastor, we really appreciate you and we love you mm -hmm. dearly. Mm -hmm. Because God has sent you to feed us. All right. Says, but I just wanted to remind you that the church is the wife of Christ, not your wife. Wow. Wow. So when you talk, you talk in fear of the husband as well. Because you might find yourself fighting twice I'm with the wife you, and I, with the husband. With, with the wife and with the <laughs> husband, yes. Yes. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the wife and the husband go into the bedroom mm -hmm. and then they decide. And you might find yourself without a job. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's why, yeah, when you deal with yeah. somebody, so I just be careful because you're dealing with them. But, but yeah. that's beside the point. I'm just, yeah. that's just to put church administration in perspective that God has protected the church mm -hmm. from authoritarianism mm -hmm. by human beings. Human beings are not the authority, 
and they're not the controllers of the church. Yeah, yeah. No, they are overseers. Mm -hmm. Theirs is a delegated authority yeah. and responsibility. Yeah. And it is accountable to the word of God. Now, that, mm -hmm. you, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, mm -hmm. but in the power of God. Mm. Okay? Mm. So, so, so your faith must not stand in the wisdom of men, men but in the this power. This is what you started explaining in the beginning, mm -hmm. that there is a race and that mankind is on this trajectory mm -hmm. to establish a, a, a global government. Mm -hmm. Yet God is Built saying... Built on the wisdom of men. On the wisdom of men. And, 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 and the Bible yeah. then reveals that there is a problem with that because God already has a cornerstone. He has. The house has already been built. Exactly. And we, the stone no, no is coming. No other foundation can any other man lay. Than Besides that which, which is already laid, which yes, is Christ. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, why? Because we are founded on his life. Mm. It is his life that gives us access to eternal life. Mm. To the kingdom prepared from the foundation of the what? Yeah, the of world. The, it is his life. Yeah. He's everything to us. Mm. And uh, he says, greater love is no man than this, John 15, 13. Yes. Then mm. that a man lay down his life, his life for, his, for friends. his friends. Yeah. Mm. So he has laid down his life for. He's literally yeah. given himself yeah. to us. That's why he talks about it as a marriage. Mm. And therefore, he's covenanted to us. Yes. He's gone up to be our representative in heaven. And I know in the sanctuary system of the Jews, they had this thing they called the Day of Atonement, mm -hmm. where the priest had to finally once in the, at the end of the year. Uh, he had to go into the sanctuary mm -hmm. to cleanse it and mm -hmm. come out, mm -hmm. having cleansed their sins and their sins are forgiven. And there's a process of taking that blood that he comes and prays over a goat and it's sent into the wilderness. So the point, therefore, is how is Christ going to conclude the establishment of his kingdom? Well, you see, God, having been obviously accused of unfairness mm -hmm. in the way he has structured the kingdom, mm -hmm. yet, demo yet to demonstrate that he had actually done that in the utmost wisdom. Yes. And uh, we, we, are, we are brought into a right relationship with God. Mm -hmm by having our faith restored in his righteousness, mm -hmm. in the rightness of giving us Christ. Mm. Because Christ like has that. demonstrated that he is worthy mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we give ourselves to him in faith. Yeah. So how are we saved into the kingdom? Mm -hmm. Romans 2 and 7, we are saved by the law of faith. Mm. Because God has put a law, he's a king. Mm -hmm. He says, I've made this law. I don't want anything from my creatures because they don't have anything. I create them from nothing. The only thing I want from them is faith to faith to faith to faith to faith to faith throughout eternity. Our relationship with God is eternal faith. Wow. From faith to faith. Yes. I and like so, the idea of from nothing to to giving God what may also seem like an invisible present, mm -hmm. which is faith. Exactly. That's yeah. all we can give the him anyway. The substance of things hoped for. That, yeah, that's yes. all we can give him. And so the, the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. That's all we can give him. Mm. And um, yeah. God is demonstrated that he is just when mm. he says that. Yeah. He says, yeah, I, I don't want anything from you. Is it unjust? For me and to ask faith from you when that is all you can give me. So, Elder, you're saying it's not going to be about the keeping of the law. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not going about the. It's, it's not going to be about the works you can do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's going to be by one key, faith. Faith in Christ. Because faith is what restores you to obedience towards God. Because now you trust Him. Yeah. So God can't restore obedience before he restores faith. Because mm. why should you trust him? Mm. That's why faith is difficult for us. Because mm. we don't know God. Yeah. That's why knowing God is a yeah. prerequisite to having faith in him. Mm. That's why the whole ministry of Christ is to give us a knowledge of God. That they might know thee, the only true God, yeah. Jesus Christ, you have yeah. So, So 
faith is the substance of things, the evidence of things not seen. Sin, yes. So God is providing evidence and mm. substance on mm. which to base our what? Mm -hmm. Our faith. But initially when faith comes to us, it comes by hearing and hearing of by the word, the word of, God. of God. And we believe it. Yes. Because the spirit of truth in us accepts that, says amen to what we're hearing. Because mm. we love the truth. We, mm. There's something in us that responds that to what we're hearing. Exactly. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. So, so on the basis of faith alone. So that's why Romans 3.27 makes sense then. Mm -hmm. To say, he asks the question, where is the boasting then? No. It is excluded yeah. Yeah. by the law oh, yeah. that God, the sovereign king, has Pretty set. Much. So, Elder, let's conclude this uh, discussion. So he, so he expects the same thing from us as from the angels. As from the angels. Faith. Just believe. That's why that angel said to John, yeah. I'm, I'm part of your brother's who yes. believe in the testimony don't, don't, of Jesus. Wo don't worship me. You don't worship me. Yes. I'm a believer like you. Yes. I believe wow. the same thing you believe. I wow. believe in Jesus. Yes. I believe what Jesus tells me, just like you are supposed to believe what Jesus tells you. Yeah. So we are all believers in the Son of God. Yes. So don't worship me. Wow. So yeah. let's conclude this yeah. mystery. How is Christ planning to conclude this? Well, and maybe a word of encouragement for our viewers out there who are longing and desiring to activate that faith so that they can please God. God wants to be believed on in the world. Mm -hmm. He wants to be believed on. He wants us to take our faith from everything and everyone and put it in God. Mm. That's why he says, look unto me and be ye saved all the end of the earth, for I am God and there is none else. That's in Isaiah. Mm -hmm. So we know that our faith rightly belongs to God who created us from nothing. Mm. Mm. It doesn't belong to any other creature who is just like us. Yeah. Okay. So this new world government yeah. has no place. Well, it's, it's, the, it's the antithesis mm -hmm. of the kingdom of God. Because it is taking by force, willing or not, that's force. It is trying to take by force what is supposed to be given by faith. Yeah. Okay. And God has come and said to us, not by might nor by power. But by, by my, my spirit. spirit, I'll talk to you. Yeah. That's why when Jesus comes, he baptizes us with the Holy Spirit. How does he do that? The yeah. Spirit leads us into all truth. He immerses us in truth. Mm -hmm. He immerses us in understanding. Mm -hmm. And as we listen to him, faith in God comes. Mm. Faith Activated. comes by hearing the witness of the Spirit. That's why Revelation chapter 1 says, let him that is ears hear yeah. what the Spirit is saying, saying to, the, to churches. the churches. So, so blessed, we are being gathered. It even says, blessed are those who read and who hear. Exactly. The prophecies so we are all being people. gathered. God's children hmm. who love truth hmm. are being drawn by the truth Amen. in faith Amen. towards the great center, which is Christ. Hmm. And I, when I'm lifted up, I will draw, draw all men. men unto me. That is how Christ concludes this thing. By drawing all men unto the truth, mm. unto the way, unto the life, unto the wisdom of God, unto the power of God. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. We are all being drawn to yeah. that great center. Mm. Amen. So the Apostle Paul says, we preach Christ and him, him crucified. crucified. Yes. The whole I desire to know glory. nothing among you. I don't want to know anything among you. I don't know about your degrees or whatever. I, I just want to know Christ and, and him crucified. crucified. I want to know Christ, the great yeah. center. So when he has drawn all of us to the great mm. center, 1 Corinthians 15, 24, then yes. come at the end and. when he shall have delivered up the kingdom. Because these people that he is drawing unto himself to the great center, mm. he will take up to glory with him yep. and present them to the Father and say, here, and the whole universe is waiting to see these people who have chosen God out of so great tribulation. Peter simply says, angels long to look into these things. Amen. The and so they come at the, so, so, so then come at the end. So the end comes when mm -hmm. this process of gathering is completed, mm -hmm. when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, mm. even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. Yeah. He has to deal with the beast. He has to deal the false with the false prophet. prophet. He has to deal with mm. the dragon. Mm. The kingdoms of this world must become the kingdoms of, of our God Christ. and of his Christ. God must take back his power and he must reign. 
Yes. And so that's what we are looking forward to. And the invitation to people is a very simple one. Yeah. This is not a time to look down. Mm. This is a time to look up. There's yes. nothing anymore here. Amen. Here we, well, how does Apostle Paul put it? He mm. says, here have we no abiding city. city. Yeah. And we look for a city with foundations. Who's being Elder, there? thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. And to our viewers, that's all we had for you. This mystery of God shall be concluded. This righteousness of God shall one day be concluded in that we shall be saved from this mortal, for the Bible promises, this mortal must put on immortality. Mm -hmm. And on that day we shall shout with the shout of victory and say, oh, death, where is your Amen. victory? Oh, grave, where is your, where is your victory? Oh, grave, and oh, death, where is your sting? And in that day, it shall be swallowed up in victory. So my friends, believe in Jesus. If you haven't given your life to him, mm -hmm. pray the simple prayer of asking for forgiveness and ask him, to be in your heart. Pray the Lord's Prayer and God will save you. God bless you. Keep watching Melvi Broadcasting Network. If you haven't subscribed, I invite you so that you can make sure you join us on our next broadcast and you don't miss out on this broadcast. Do remember to subscribe and click that bell so that you get the notifications. God bless you. See you on the next episode and keep watching Melvi Broadcasting Network. <music>